Hello everyone. Welcome to audit course lab number 20. Today we are going to analyze MOSFET common source amplifier. So let us start with the analysis. So given as a MOSFET amplifier and common source RPUs, the value of R1 as 22 mega ohm, R2 as 18 mega ohm, RD is 3 kilo ohm, RS is 820 ohm. The values of coupling capacitors are 61 and 62 volt microfarad. The value of bypass capacitor Vs is given as 100 microfarad. The supply voltage to power of the MOSFET is 40 volt. Now, this MOSFET is an enhancement type NMOS with a gate, drain, and source terminal. Here, the input is applied as 10 millivolt peak sine wave of 1 kilowatts. And the MOSFET parameters given are um, BTN equal to 5 volts and KN is equal to 0.12 milliampere. Square. So these are the MOSFET parameters. Okay. Now, uh, this is the voltage divider uh, biasing technique. Which is used. So let us start with the DC analysis. So with the, for DC analysis, all the capacitors will be behaving as open circuit. So the circuit will reduce to the voltage divider network as follows. So from the circuit, we can write VG is equal to R2 upon R1 plus R2 plus VDD. So if you work out in a calculator, that value will come out to be 18. Now the given value of Kn is 0.12 milliampere per volt square, and uh, VGS is given by Vg minus Vs, which is equal to Vg minus Vs is ID into RS. So Vg is calculated as 18. So VGS is equal to 18 minus ID times 820. That is the equation number one. Now we assume that a uh, given NMOS enhancement transistor is working in this saturation region. So the drain current is given by ID is equal to Kn times Vgs minus Vt at the whole square, which is equal to 0.12 to the minus 2 minus 3 Vgs minus pi to whole square. So this becomes our equation number two. So we substitute we put equation number two in one, and we will get Vgs is equal to 18 minus 820 into we substitute the value of ID, which is 0.12 into 10 to minus 3. Vgs minus phi to whole square. Now we multiply this 820.12 to minus 3. So that will be 0.0984. And we expand Vgs minus phi to whole square. So it will be Vgs square minus 10 times Vgs plus 25. So if you solve it algebraically, you will get a quadratic equation in terms of Vgs, which is given by 0.0984 Vgs square. 0.016 Vgs minus 0.54 is equal to 0. So if you solve it quadratically in a calculator, you will get two values of Vgs. One value will be plus 12.48 volt. Other value will be minus 12.64. Uh, so we'll reject this minus 12.64 because Vgs is less than Vtn. Okay. So we accept the value of Vgs uh, equal to 12.48. Note that VGS TH is also same as VTN. Okay, this is the test. Now we recalculate the value of we calculate the value of ID with the formula KN times VGS minus phi to square. We substitute the newly found value of VGS over here, and uh, if you substitute it in calculator, you will get the value of ID as 6.72 m. So that's our Q point VGS Q ID Q will be 12.48 volts comma uh, 6.72 million. Okay, so with this we calculate the small signal parameter. So small signal parameter is Vn, which is given by twice Kn into BGSQ minus Vtn, which will be equal to twice into 0.12 minus 3 into 12.48 minus 5. So if you put in the calculator, you will get the value as 1.795 milliampere per volt. Okay, so this is the value of Vn. Now uh, we have to find the voltage gain with and without uh, the capacitor CH. So the first case is without capacitor uh, with capacitor CH. So the other way of saying it is uh, the RS is bypassed via the capacitor CH. So whenever the capacitor CS is present, it will behave as a short circuit for the small signal mid frequency equivalent circuit. So with RS bypassed, it will be the, the source terminal. 
so this is my uh, small signal uh, uh, balance circuit wherein the wherein the mosfet is replaced by its hybrid pi equal model so we have uh, no connection between the gate and source it is asymptotic we have just the voltage vts and we can drain and source we have a uh, current source So from this small signal equivalent circuit, we can write V out as V out is given as minus Vm into Vgs is the current into Rd. Why minus? Because it is the outgoing current. And uh, Vgs is equal to V. From the input side, we can say that this is a parallel voltage, so Vgs will be equal to V. And now if we divide V out divided by V, we get minus Gm Rd. So we substitute the value of Gm as uh, minus 1.79 pi 2 into 10 is to minus. Rd value is given as three kilohertz. So if you multiply this, you will get a number as minus five point three eight five six. So this is my voltage gain with RS bypass. Now with next circuit is with RS unbypass. So with RS one bypass, uh, the value of RS will be appearing in the small signal equivalent circuit. And with this change, we are not deriving this, but the value of the voltage gain will be given as V out upon V in which will be given as minus Rd divided by one gm plus rs so that will be equal to if you put the values and solve it in the calculator you will get the value of av as the voltage gain as minus 0.7858 okay this has no unit because it is a voltage gain so this is the value of av you get minus 2.1758 a bit rs and bypass okay now let's go to the simulation in LT spice and verify whether we are getting this value. So let me minimize this. Okay, let me minimize this and open LT spice. So already the circuit has been prepared for your reference in LT spice. We will just simulate and check whether whether we are getting the all the results properly. Okay, let me reduce this a little. Okay, fine. I think it's fine now. And we reduce the amplitude a little. Okay, so the circuit which is T over here is the same as we have built up over here. We have R1 as 22 mega ohm, R2 as 18 mega ohm, CC1 as 1 microfarad, CC2 as again 1 microfarad, CS is 100 microfarad, RS is 820. And uh, what we need to do is we need to select go to the library and type here NMOS. NMOS 4 and click on OK, like this. So whenever you do that, you need to join the substrate terminal and the gate terminal. So see to that that is joined together. Or else, what you can do is you can directly select NMOS. So instead of doing that, just type NMOS and place it on the display. Okay, like this. And once you do that and uh, connect all the registers, what you do is you right click on it and rename this NMOS as NMOS 1. It is very important to do that because it will take these parameters. Okay, now uh, what we need to do is we need to select a sinusoidal source. So for that, you just type sign and the signal source will, sinusoidal signal source will appear and click on OK and this will appear. Now right click on this and select the amplitude as 10 millivolt. Okay, so this is 10 millivolt peak. That means peak to peak, it will get it as 20 millivolt. And rename this notes as uh, v in underscore your name. So you right click and label this. And you can type the label over here. Similarly, I have typed the label over here. So you type over here v in underscore your name. Similarly, at the output mode, v out underscore your name, you can type. You can click on OK. Also, name the notes that is gate, drain, and source. So gate underscore your name, drain underscore your name, and source underscore your name. You can name it like this. And power the op amp with 40 volts DC supply. Fine. So for DC supply, you can just type the voltage. You can add the voltage over. You can give the voltage as 40 volts DC. Now, very important, we need to add the VTN as 5 volt and KN as 0.12 ampere per volt square. So this information in the dot model statement, you can add it like this. So the VTN it will be equal to VT will be equal to 5. And over here, internally, KN is written as capital K. And that is substituted as twice the value of Kn. So Kn is 0.12 into 10 is to minus 3. So 
so kp will be uh, twice of that that is 0.24 into e raised to minus that is same as 10 raised to minus 3 now to add the model model statement right click go to graph and there will be a spice directive click on it so you can write a dot model statement over here okay select the spice directive from here. so i'll show it to you how to write it so you can write over here dot model nmos1 because we have named it as nmos1 space nmos is the reserved keyword enter the value of vtn as phi you substitute vto as phi and enter kp as equal to 0. Point. So you can write 0. 0.24 minus 3 okay and click on okay so this will make so that the mosfet has the parameter of vtn equal to 5 volt and pn equal to 0.1 to 10 is to minus 3 okay now we will check the q point so to check the q point we have to add the dot op analysis let me remove it and show it to you again so once the circuit is ready you can simulate this and click on run it will ask for the simulation command click on dc operating point and click on ok so this will make so that you are getting the values of uh, vgs and id so let's cross check this uh, values with the theoretical values so over here we are getting let me just show it to you yeah we are getting vgs as 18 minus 5.514 that will be very close to 12.48 okay so bgs is very close id value is coming out to be 6.724 milliamperes and here also theoretically we are getting 6.72 milliamperes so the dc calculations are matching only after the dc calculations are matching you can go for the ac analysis now for go for ac analysis we right click over here and we disable this by putting a bullet click on ok Okay, and for the AC analysis, we'll go to the we will do the tangent analysis because we want V versus time and V out versus time. So we'll go to simulate, click on run, and here the frequency is given as 1k. So we can give the stop time as 3 milliseconds so that we can view three cycles. And click on OK. Okay, a blank window will appear with the x-axis as 0 to 3 milliseconds. Right click on it, go to add trace, and click on V in first. And then right click again, add trace and plot V out. Okay, so this is my V out uh, waveform which I'm appearing V out and V in. As you can see, it is out of phase. So obviously, my answer will be the gain will be negative. And uh, for the first, we have prepared a table. So for the first case, we will check it for 20 millivolt peak to peak. So this is 20 millivolt peak to peak. Let's check the value of the output. So right click over here and uh, cursor will appear, bring it to the maximum value. Again, right click over here, second cursor will appear, bring it to the minimum value, of peak to peak value. Okay, so this is my uh, peak to peak value over here, which I'm getting. So here the value will come out to be 107.71 uh, 107 uh, around, right? So here the value, here I've written as 103, and I was getting at that time 103. So if you calculate it, you will get the gain as around uh, 5 point, uh, you know, observed gain will be 5.38. You can do the calculator 103 divided 103.71 divided by 107.7188 millivolt divided by 20 millivolt. You will get an answer as 5.38. Okay, so just ignore this value. At that time, I was getting this value, so observed value will be 5.38. Perfectly fine. Okay, it's perfectly behaving. And uh, now I can check it for uh, you know 5 millivolt peak signal. So I can substitute over here 5 millivolt. Okay, and again I can simulate. So here also again I will check the peak to peak amplitude. So here I'll bring the cursor over here and uh, bring the cursor over here as you can see i am getting for minus 53 minus 53.8 millivolt divided by 10 millivolt that will be minus 5.38 so perfectly fine i am getting the values perfectly well that is the calculated values are coming very very accurate okay and uh, now i will check it for the case whenever the, the cs is uh, rs is unbypassed that means i'll remove the capacitor like this, I'll just disconnect with the wire and I simulate it again. Okay, and now if I check the peak, peak value again, here it is. 
one other cursor I will take, and here it is. Okay, so I am getting minus twenty one point seven something. So here the calculated value is uh, minus two point one seven eight. So here I am getting minus twenty one point seven five twenty volt divided by twenty volt. It will be minus two point one seven five. So it is very much matching, perfectly matching actually. In fact. And uh, now we can check it for uh, uh, for a peak value of 10 millivolt. That is peak to peak will be 20 millivolts now. So again, if I simulate and click on run, so here if I check, I am getting around. Uh, again, I'll take another peak to peak value. So input peak to peak is 20 millivolt and output peak to peak is 43.51. Let me put it in the calculator. 43.515. Millivolt divided by 20. So I am getting a value of uh, minus 2.175, which is very close to minus 2.178, which is the calculated values. So this is the way we can check the values for the output voltage gain with and without CS. Okay, so the values are coming quite accurate. There is some mistake I have written over here. I will correct it. No problem. While taking the readings, I, I think some parameters have changed. But just now I have observed that uh, we are getting perfectly good results. The values, the readings are matching perfectly well. Okay, for this uh, enhancement type NMOS common source amplifier. So, but uh, the above sample calculations, above are the sample calculations. So here the DC analysis and the AC analysis, all the analysis will remain the same. But for your BC lab number 10 or your audit course lab number 20, this is the circuit. So you have new values of R1, R2, RD, RS, and uh, CS is also new, and VDD is also new, and VTN and KN value is also new. So you have to solve first the DC analysis and the AC analysis and calculate the and AV with or without CS. Okay, and you have to prepare this observation table. You can prepare only one value of V in for 20 millivolt. You note down the value of V out bypassed, without and bypassed. AV bypass and AV done and bypass the calculator and observe values. So this is your task for today. Uh, about reference uh, solved example is given, but uh, you have to solve it with these values. Okay. I repeat again, you have to solve. Uh, you know, for this BEC lab number ten or audit code lab number twenty, this is the circuit which you have to start with. The above circuit uh, which we have given the observation table and all. Uh, this circuit is for your reference only. Okay, this MOSFET amplifier is for your reference, so similar to this, you can do the calculation and the similar. Okay, so yeah, this is the circuit. I'll keep it for a few seconds, you can take a note of it. Okay, and you have to prepare this observation table. Okay, don't forget to update the value of VTN and KN also. Okay, so now uh, we have completed our objective today of analyzing the uh, MOSFET common source amplifier. Okay, so that's it for this audit course lab number 20. Have a good day and thank you.